what's up guys um in this video i'm gonna be showing my settings for warzone as well as my uh controller settings let's get started um this is my advanced options for in-game uh my video memory scale 0 0.9 render worker count 9 this is my uh controller right here it's overclocked to uh one millisecond input delay at default on pc uh controller input delay is set at 5 ms so in overclock your controller you get the fastest response time this is the astro c40 controller software and uh right here i remap some of the buttons for a uh, warzone so my l3 is going to be r3 so that's going to be my melee my R3 is going to be circle, which is crouch. My left paddle is going to be L3. That's my sprint. So I can just spam that instead of jamming the left stick. And my, uh, my right paddle is going to be jump X. Let's get right into the graphic settings. My display, uh, full screen, refresh rate, 240, 1440. And uh, everything else is uh, by default, I believe. And the uh, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I changed it to Enabled plus Boost. Over on quality, I play on uh, 120 FOV with the Affected Field of View ADS. At uh, least 50% for the camera movement. Streaming quality, normal. Texture resolution on low. Texture filter normal particle quality high bullet impacts and sprays you can have this disabled but i want to see the um spray paints and stuff so i have it enabled tessellation disabled dismemberment and gore effects disabled on demand texture streaming disabled filmic strength one film grain zero nvidia dlss disabled Anti-aliasing off, depth of field disabled, both blurs disabled, shadow map resolution low, both shadows make sure they're enabled. Um, I've seen some videos where it said um, having these enabled adds five to maybe ten FPS to your end game. Particle lighting low, ray tracing disabled, ambient occlusion disabled, screen space reflection disabled let's head over to audio dynamic home theater for my audio mix a lot of people use boost high boost low but i think dynamic home theater just sounds more natural to me um master volume 100 dialogue volume 35 effects cinematics 100 hit marker sound effects classic and that's pretty much it let's get into the controller settings from uh what i showed you guys earlier on my controller software i remap my button so i don't really need to touch my button layouts in game so i have these set to default my left and right stick minimum input dead zones are 0 0.08 and the max input dead zones are 0.99 my horizontal and vertical stick sensitivities are at seven I go back and forth between six and seven, um, depending on the day and how my shots are. Um, I have my custom sensitivity per zoom on, um, from iron sights all the way to six X. I have it set to 0 0.80 and seven and eight times. I don't use those. So I just leave it at one, but my sniper scope zooms are at a 0.9. Game response curve type dynamic controller vibration enabled a lot of people have them disabled but i feel i control the recoil way better when it's enabled and i know when i'm getting shot at or taking damage because the controller vibrates and stuff uh everyone's everyone's different though it all depends on you uh aim assist standard scale aim assist with fov disabled uh my weapon mount is double tap ADS 
Weapon mount exit enabled. Uh, these are all on hold. Use reload behavior. This is big. Make sure it's on contextual tap. Depleted ammo weapon switch enabled. Armor plate behavior. Uh, this is another big one. Apply all. Light behavior tap. My auto sprint and auto move forwards are disabled. Tax sprint is on double tap. And that's pretty much it. Well, that concludes the video. Uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope you guys uh, like this video of all my settings, controller settings, and graphic settings. Um, hit the thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever one you feel is best. Um, subscribe and see you guys on the next one. Peace.